Let's go with you. Actually, that's a really good idea. Yes. Yes. Hey guys, I changed my mind. We're gonna do the apothecary scene. Yes. Caroline Stein was just 13 years old when she first recruited friends into her Fort Thomas backyard to stage summer theater, and she's been holding her own theater program in town nearly every summer since. What sets Caroline's Cliffview players apart? The kids here create and stage original work. You know, Let's drop into a workshop and talk with Caroline and some of her students about what they call devised theater. I don't remember why I got the idea to do it. I imagine that it was probably that no one was doing a summer program that my parents were aware of, so I wanted to do theater and didn't have a means to do so. so being the ambitious child that I was, I decided we would just put on a play, which lots of kids do. But we kind of accidentally ended up turning it into a business. Three years ago, we did we started doing a piece here at Village Players. I just kind of wanted to see if it would work, doing really different postmodern stuff with kids. It's not just a normal play. Like, you're gonna yeah. get a lot more out of it than you think. There's a lot of dances involved, music, um, these different theater effects that she uses, they're really cool. There's a lot of people that are strong leaders, and so you gotta like combine all the ideas together. How do you manage to do that? <laughs> well, it's kind of hard because you have a lot of people with strong ideas and strong opinions, but in the end, it, you all just collaborate and put everything together, and it works. I had to choreograph my own dance, and so it's kind of hard when like you're by yourself because you can like be stumped and you have no idea what you're gonna do. But when you work in a group, it's really great because you. We're all like so creative and we have great ideas, so you can just bounce off each other and then it'll just come together. It'll just, a light bulb will go off. You know all of this in Spanish. I know all of you could tell it. Okay, so we're gonna leave out this middle part because we don't know how we're gonna do it yet. So we're just gonna do the ending, okay? Where we say, the jewels turn into stars and the world enjoys the beauty of their love. I didn't really think I would like be doing performances until I just thought about it. Well, I'm flexible, I can kind of dance, I think I might be able to do good in some shows. It's not only fun, but it's also educational, so we don't just forget all of the Spanish when we go back to school. It definitely builds a lot of creativity, like you have to think. With a script, it's kind of like the director tells you what to do, but Caroline lets us go off and work, and we decide what we're going to do, and then she comes and like critiques it and makes it better. When I'm working with my peers, I have to work much harder to sort of get them into that imaginative place where they can create things really quickly that'll be interesting to see on stage. With kids, it's super easy. They do it like ducks to water, like they, they take to it so easily. So with them, I'll, you know, we'll work for two hours and suddenly we've gone through everything I planned for the day. So I have to think of even more things for them to do because I'm not always prepared for how fast they'll come up with stuff. 10 years ago, I would have told you no, it's not something that I'll keep doing. So for me, I think it's really something that they need and that I really, I need, like working with them is amazing and it's such a gift to get to work with the kids. So for me, it really is something that I want to keep doing. 